So on this one, we're gonna have the full story, cinematic, all the cutscene in one. So uh, I hope you're gonna enjoy it. Make sure to drop a like, sub to the channel if it's your first time on here. We love you all here on the whole. Shout out to uh, BDJ for putting this together. We love you all here. We Shout had such plans for this world. Our Earth, so mercifully cleansed by the media they deemed a office. We had such plans. All thwarted by one man, Nicholas Green. With the push of a button, our future was ended. The arcs emerged. The eco-bards came tumbling down, all premature, pouring life back into the barren lands, starting the cycle of life anew, as we had planned to do with our own species. Plans were thwarted by the naive and arrogant masses. The cleansing of our weakened species was hindered. Our aid selfishly refused. They chose their own pitiful existence over the future of the breed. Such hubris. They thought us defeated. <laughs> Let them believe us defeated, but we moved underground. We watched their petty squabbles, their meaningless turf wars, their childish attempts at order from chaos, and we grew strong. Our science, our expertise, all aligned, all with one sole purpose, the surgical culling of the weak. Man reborn! We tear down the defenses! We take their compounds! We take the Arcs! We raise their settlements and townships to the ground! Tonight marks the beginning of the cleansing! Tonight marks the rebirth of the Authority! Nothing good. Better gear up and move out. It's go time, right? Yeah, grab your gear. I'll secure the door. Lily, that was my kill. <laughs> you gotta move a little faster, Walker. Lily, the closest thing I ever had to family. We grew up here in Vineland, raised by her drill sergeant of a mother. Me? I'm an orphan. I don't have a mother. But there's plenty more where that came from. I'm telling you, this is the big one. All right, then let's go fucking get some. Not at all. Gonna be hard to keep score. I was never much for counting. Walker, we need you in the courtyard. Now! We're on our way. Got Lily too. This is a bit. <laughs> Big one! What the? It's a ranger. Not just any ranger. That's Jersey. Holy shit, it took his whole head off! So much for Ranger Jersey. He's not gonna defib out of that. It's all up to me now. I'm taking that armor. If you're gonna do it, do it! Shit. 
shit. Mom's gonna skin you alive messing with ranger gear. Ugh, but it's still got a lot of jersey in it. Yeah, but it's our only shot. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> this is even better than I thought. Dear old Aunt Prowley, decorated war hero, ranger, and role model, especially for Lily. She took me in when my parents died. The meanest mom this orphan wildcard never asked for. Reporting for duty! Come here! That's Jersey's armor. Jersey. They killed him. You're brave enough to put on his armor? You're brave enough to do his job? What the fuck is that? I've never seen anything so big! Makes an easy target! Can't be! He should be dead! General Cross? Everything else. General Cross, the evil leader of the evil authority. Our own boogeyman. A bedtime story for naughty kids like me. I don't know if Prowley's lost it or if it's really true. Do know this, though. If it is, I'm not gonna stand for it. Son of a stand down! That's a direct order! Watch out! But for you, I'll make an exception for old times, Elwina. <laughs> After all, your uselessness is what once spared my life. <laughs> See if we can jumpstart this. Clear. Wait. Fuck. Ah. Fuck's sake. I was conscious. Yeah, you were. But your shiny new armor needed a jolt. So, this is it then. This is all that's left. Just over 20 survivors. We're still digging out the ruins. I saw Prowley. Cross, he... He killed her. He killed my mother. I don't know how. But we gotta stop them. And I'll personally wring the neck of that goddamn wrinkled bastard. I never really believed the stories. <laughs> that the Authority would return. Well, they did. And we gotta do something about it. Mom knew what to do. The Rangers knew. Wait a minute. 
They kept their files, the logs. They kept them in the Presidio. The Ranger CP? You nuts. Only Rangers can go in there. Look at me, Lily. I'm the only Ranger left. Holy shit. You really are. Bad intel, Gulo. Mm, Gimme, you just need a tiny gulp, Marsh. No, you don't get true swill if you don't give true talk. Mm, I speak the day's true, Marsh. Violence destroyed. Yeah, right. Long right to shit by mega bad techniques. I ain't biting, Gulo. You're just looking for a free fix to swill here. Violent is gone. See? I was talking true. Don't plug it all at once. Ranger, huh? Oh, I haven't seen a ranger here in a long time. John Marshall. Legendary resistance fighter. War hero. We grew up on stories about this guy. I gotta admit, I was expecting something more... impressive. Seems impossible. Vineland's defenses were impenetrable. So we all thought. We weren't ready for them. We weren't ready for the Authority. Yeah, back then. I'm guessing you'll hear about the Dagger Project. Problem is, we're under a whole different kind of siege here. Muties. They're clogging up our power turbine in the sewers. Now, if uh, someone was to take care of that... If that's what it takes to get Dagger online, show me what to kill and where. <laughs> you catch on fast. I sent down every Renna killer who walked in here, but they all end up dead. 
It won't take long. Stop right there, shit stain. We're on lockdown. I'm looking for the mayor of Wellspring. Now you're in the right place, but at the wrong time. Mayor Hagar and her staff are locked down. Whatever your business, you can wait. Try another day, or don't try at all. Why? Has something happened? Nope. I aim to keep it that way. Nobody gets in, nobody gets out. The mayor has bigger problems than you, Sideshow. Now, as I said... Shit. Hear that? <laughs> Impressive. You think it can catch a bullet, too? Lusum Hagar, mayor of Wellspring. Used to be a wingstick whiz kid. Nowadays, backs it up with a pistol. Instrumental to the Dagger Project. Whoa, 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 whoa! Easy. I'm here about the Dagger Project. Huh. Just a very exclusive list knows about that project. And you're not on it. Prowley sent me. Prowley, huh? Prowley's dead. Vineland was razed to the ground. She's a hologram. I can't explain. I'm Walker, the last of the Vineland Rangers. God damn it. More of these assholes! Ranger, let's take these fuckers out! Then we'll talk! got the skill for the kill, I grant you. <laughs> These goons are thoroughly dead. Not what I expected from your boxed-in little compound. <laughs> You're different. You ready to talk now? Yeah. Let's talk. You want to tell me what's going on here? Dagger was designed to stop the Authority once and for all. Plans fell by the wayside when Vineland cut ties with us. I'm more than willing to reboot the project. But as you can see, I have more pressing matters. I can see that. Who are these guys? Who sent them? Only one scumbag with balls enough to pull a stunt like this. Clegg Clayton. Richest asshole in town. He's been eyeing the mayor's seat for a while. But lately, he's been upping his game. Using bribed officials, he's laid claim to all of the city's military hardware including the vital parts needed for Dagger. So I kill him and take back the hardware? No deal. We gotta proceed with some caution here. First, I wanna know where he gets his backing from. Second, we need to find out where he keeps all of that property. You got a plan? He's got an ego the size of an ecopod, but we can use that. If you get close to him, pay him lip service, get his trust. Then you can easily plant this gizmo on his computer. It'll let me download all of his juicy data. Who's backing him, who's supplying the goon squad, and where he keeps the seized supplies. Clegg Clayton likes to surround himself with the rich and famous. They hang out at his so-called winner's lounge. You figure out a way to get in there, and you're well on your way to getting that gizmo planted. Okay, I'm on it. Excellent. Grab the gizmo, get into Clegg's office, and stick it on his computer. Right. I hit the jackpot. Whole uncracked arc just sitting here. Problem is, these assholes shrouded got the jump on us and killed half my team. You're gonna double my comp, or I'll bring this info to someone with. Gambler, that this is Clay Clayton's winner's lounge. You're no winner, you're a loser, so get lost. Forget it. You ain't got the juice to get past the rope. Let me in. I'm a ranger. I don't give a fuck. No one gets in here who isn't rich or famous. You're neither. Come on, there's gotta be a way. Sure, you can get in by winning. Winning how? Win at Mutant Bash TV and win the Chaz Car Derby. Become a champ. Easy peasy for someone as tough as you, right? That all? Yep. You make yourself a champ, you can just waltz on in and meet the man himself. There's no other way? Not for you. the Mutant Bash TV arena. Keep an eye on your TV screen, because it's time to crack some muty skulls. I know you can, and I know you will. But be careful. 
Those things are nastier than you think. What a dashing rogue the city has sent our way this evening. You, yes, you, stranger, have you come to join us? Say it is so. Say you've wandered here from off the dark city streets and into this uh, boudoir of pleasure to join our little game. Because you have a hunger in your eyes. Do tell me. Is it a hunger for the promises of the flesh I present you with? Hmm? A thirst, perhaps, for the reddest oh, yes. of wines. <laughs> or maybe the insatiable hunger of the true connoisseur. The last to kill. <laughs> you have it. The promise of greatness. Allow us to sate your hunger for the kill, handsome. And sign here on the line. And now, sweet young thing, your journey to stardom shall commence. Kill! Kill for Desdemonia! <laughs> Jazz car derby it is. Keep your eyes on the screen. I'm gonna win this. Good luck, Walker. With those psychos you'll be racing, you're gonna need it. Well, god damn. God damn! Look what the bon ton rolled in. You here to bet your ass in the race for Chaz? Tell me his soul, Nicky Ring. Tell me you sent this wasteland butte to race like a stick of butter on a pile of pancakes. After you, hot sauce. Racing, baby. I can see you got the grit to be great. You got the meat it takes to take the plate. And you got all the trimmings, too. Got a contract right here, Prime Cut. <laughs> you sign that? Well, you sign in blood. <laughs> oh. You race your way to the top crust like a knife through sirloin, and you emerge victorious and take the gravy too. <laughs> when do I start? Scritch scratch. We got your John H, and we good to go. <laughs> oh. Yeah, well, you start at the bottom, fresh meat. Get the pity bucket. Prove your sizzle in that slow-mo ride. And then move on up. Simmer to the very top like the slickest grease in a gumbo. <laughs> Go grab your ride when ready, huh? Hey, it's the champ. Saw you on the killing. I'm here to see Plague Clayton. Welcome inside, winner. Champ. Love your style, gladiator. Let's go, numb nuts. The bar's over there. Hey. Hey, missing up already. I got a great, nay, tremendous surprise for you all. Looky over there, dames and dudes. Here he is, 
the infamous wasteland tycoon, Clegg Clayton. So ego-centered, he's been known to torture people just to get their approval. I, the great Clegg Clayton, give you the one, the only, Killer Dilla Walker! Uh, my latest golden goose, you stick with me, and the sky's the limit. You want to make it big? You want to be a star? Well, old Uncle Cleggy Clayton's got your ticket to the top! I won't let you down. What's that? I want to make it big. There's no goddamn doubt. Everybody's got a purpose on this rock, and yours just happens to be being the goddamn best! <laughs> So, uh, what do you say we go somewhere a little more secluded? I may be about to offer you the dealio of a lifetime. I'm guessing uh, I, myself, need no introduction. Now, you've already heard of how I took my father's legacy and turned it into an empire. Of course, everybody knows the story of irresistible Clegg Clayton, the orphan multi-billionaire extraordinaire. And that's why you're here, of course. I know, everybody wants to see the digs of the wealthiest and most generous man of the land. Behold, Killadilla Walker! This is the innermost core of this high-powered city. This is the multi-watt nerve center of the Clegg Empire. My office, the cockpit from which I control my vast financial holdings. I am the richest man in town today. But soon, power absolute will be mine. Tremendous power. As soon as that old, decrepit, crone, loosome Hagar surrenders her mayoral office to me, uh, things here will take a turn or two for the better. I'll oh, just you wait. So, being rich not enough for you? You're cut out for something bigger, right? Now, let me tell you about my father. My father, my father was a great man. He, everyone tells me he was a great man, but he built the base of Wellspring. He did, but my father, my father, he lacked the vision to merge power and economics. He was a mayor, but he didn't have any real money, see? I, I do not lack vision, people tell me, and I tell people that I will become the most powerful man in the wasteland. What? What could possibly be so imminent? Oh, right, right. Hold on a second. Oh, Killer Dilla Walker, baby. I gotta take this. Please, make yourself at home. Pour some swill. Have a sewn shot eyeball. They're extra globby. Right, right, right. Talk to me. Oh, yes. I mean, no. I didn't mean... Listen here. You know damn well who I am. I am the head honcho man. All right, Lucem, the gizmo is planted. I know. It's already transmitting data. Good job. Now get out of there. Oh, Killer Dilla Walker! One more thing. How is decrepit old Lucem these days? Oh, surprised? Yes, I just got wind. Nothing escapes Clay Clayton. Yeah, it's true. My spies and agents are working 27-27 to keep me informed. I guess Clegg got the best of you. I guess you're just a loser after all. 
And as these are surely your final moments, I shall let you in on my big reveal. Yeah, I got it all thunk out, you see. You see, I've got the most powerful player in the wasteland in my corner! Who? The authority, that's who. I'm on a first name basis with General Cross. So when they take over, oh boy, oh boy, the sky's the limit. And all thanks to my extremely accomplished negotiation skills. You read me? Barely. You okay? Yeah, I'm right under Wellspring. Got dumped through the elevator shaft into some kill pit. But the real news is Clegg is in bed with General Cross. And we can't dally. I'm sending in a strike team for Clegg. He's gonna talk one way or the other. Over and out. The strike team is in the tower, standing by. Shouldn't be long now. Hook me up to their channel so I know what's going on. Yeah. Hold on. Go, go, go! Regroup! Formation! Lock and load. Breach! Clayton, drop the weapon! We're taking you down! He took off in his copter! Damn it! I should have done this job myself. Where's he headed? Likely to hide under his master's skirts. Well, at least we found the Predator. Dagger's looking real good. Head over to my office, and we'll talk. What have you got? So, I drove that scumbag out of town. Now we can focus on Project Dagger. Yeah, for now. But he's gonna stick his ugly dome up again if we don't deal with him permanently. There's gotta be something of value on the data you pulled from Clegg's computer. I'm on it. Decrypting the data as we speak. We got a team down in Cleggie's creepy dungeon retrieving the Predator tank and the other tech as well. Great. Let me know when you have the Predator up and running. Will do. Now, with Clegg out of the way and the tank secured, we could benefit from your help on some new projects. You. It's you in your Ranger uniform. Step closer, please. Talk into the console. Yes, the one with the cactus on it. A smiling succulent with a hat. Yes. I came looking for a Dr. Kvasir here. There you are. Let me just... I see. Uniform is wartime issue. Modified for use in eco-pod fortification. Vineland, no? Then you must be... Yes. Second generation artist. How fascinating. Vineland, yeah. I'm pretty much what's left of it. Hmm. You check out. Hold on, I will let you in. since I played host to one of your kind. Dr. Anton Kvasir, genius scientist with a shifty past, original archist, pre-Apophis. They said he worked for the Authority and helped create their mutant soldiers. Then he turned on his masters, joined the cause, fought alongside my folks in the Authority War. Not sure how I feel about mad scientists at this point, but I do need his help. It's... An impressive setup, Dr. Kvasir. Kvasir, yes. My lab suffices. Yes. My research used to be more mechanically inclined. 
But over time, the machines, it turns out, fail. I prefer to rely now on genetically engineered solutions, simply because they can heal. Makes sense, I guess. I hope you don't mind, Walker, yes? I put your scan through my ARC mainframe. I know you now. Your parents. Hmm? Such a tragedy when they were lost. But Irvina Prowley took you in, no? She did. As if I was her own. But they killed her. They destroyed everything I ever knew. Dead. Oh no. She was... formidable. I was always hoping to... But, alas, no. It was a massacre. An unstoppable force. Mutants, a new kind of creature. All tech and armor and guns and huge. Taller than any building. And they were led by a man. General Martin Cross. Oh, he is back then. It was to be expected. Him and his lapdog scientist, Dr. Bendros, were always hard at work on their longevity project. But you see, for that problem, I just might have some solutions. Solutions? I've got one for you. Project Dagger. Ah, you know. <laughs> yes, of course. Here goes nothing. some pretty unsettling stuff here. I think this is where they're making the clones you talked about. The Longevity Project. Yes, my assumptions were correct again. You should look for a sample of the good general's DNA and bring it to me so I can put an end to this obscenity. I'm heading inside to look for it. Yes. I did was unrewarding. I shall take my time with you. Savor every last moment of your pain. Come and get it. Now my power. <laughs> there. You gave me the time I needed. Pointless protege. <laughs> I die. I awake. Reborn. One step closer to completion. Welcome to the world, new one. <laughs> Doc, I think I've got a big enough DNA sample for you. Let me bring it in. Excellent. I look forward to getting my hands on it. Ah, the ranger specimen.
Here it is, the DNA sample. I guess this will put us ahead of the competition. I understand that it was tempting to do this pun, but this is a gray matter. We cannot start celebrating yet. There is simply no time for such skullduggery. This is our crowding achievement. Well, now, place the sample in the extractor. Now, I'll extract the DNA from the specimen. There! The serum is now complete. It will, without a doubt, put an end to the longevity project. But of course, without the two other pieces of puzzle for Project Dagger, the serum is essentially worthless. You cannot gain entrance into the Authority's headquarters to administer the serum without them. It's not gonna be a problem, Doc. Ranger, the scrambler's all but finished. It's looking real good. There's one extra little piece of the puzzle I'm lacking. Sent out my info trader, Gulo. You know, twitchy little critter. But she's gone missing. Starting to think she might be in trouble. Looks like I'm gonna need your help again, Ranger. Swing by my armory, will ya? Okay, I'll be there. Hagar, there's some kind of gate opening. Leading into the mountain. Bet this is it. Yeah, I'm going in to find out. Look at that. Cleg Clayton's little chopper. This place is... I can't believe it. They're building... actually building these titanic mutant monsters here. They may be preparing for more attacks like Vineland's. What? Come in, Walker! Hello? Fuck. Breaking up. Okay, let's just get this vision core and get the hell out of here. We have a deal, Cross. Let me remind you that I will let you in as soon as I take the mayor's seat. Oh, your little dream of becoming mayor. I appreciate your dedication, Mr. Clayton, but let me assure you that was never going to happen. You made me a promise. <laughs> you lied to me. To Clayton, you lied. I would have preferred to take Wellspring quietly, but blood and thunder will have to do. But I am Glenn Clayton! Aim away from his face. I want to preserve his what, what, cadaver what, what, as a what? memento. No, no I, I can go for whatever he's paying you. Oh, no! Oh, no! No! Oh, you could have been the richest mutant in the wasteland. Oh, no! Authority HQ. This is it. I'm bringing this whole steaming mess down. I strongly suggest you drive the Predator for that. Anything else in the Authority turrets will smear you across the wasteland. I knew that. Just checking to see if you were... Like I said, it worked. It scrambled the scanning process and... First set procedure done. 
Delta initiated. Please present DNA confirmation. DNA sample. Thought you had this shit planned out. Please present DNA confirmation. Grid level rising. Yes, of course. I have prepared perfect digital model of Cross's DNA. I transfer data sequence now. DNA analysis complete. Welcome back, General Cross. Close call. You didn't think to test the scenario before, Clossier? Oh no, but it all worked out in the end. Now the machine thinks that you are the good general. And that is amusing, since the machine at Eden thought you were the dead president. <laughs> okay, inside. Stay low and lean. You can do this. I don't know. Walker is gonna need some backup. Sit tight, Lily. Don't rock the boat. The Ranger is in control. No more casualties needed. Casualties? Hell no. That's it. I'm gonna go, and I'm gonna... Again, you are resilient like a plague, pointless protege. It is something of a wonder that you've gotten so far, but surely you did not think it would go unnoticed that another General Cross had entered my base. Shut up, ghoul. Certainly by now you will have understood that we cannot be stopped. That I was already beyond life and death was much more than your feet-minded aunt Prowry could comprehend. Her pride and arrogance is what killed you all. If you are coming, then come. Otherwise, please just... Submit to my sentries and allow yourself to be shot like a dog. I will kill you. Permanently. I believe you are me.
so we journey to the afterlife together. Pointless protege. She would be fine. A little nanotrite reprogramming cocktail was all that was needed. I say you got lucky. But if I can save Walker from Doom, then perhaps someone can save Cross from Doom too. You need me still. Let's go! Ah, you're back. Ranger strong and good to go. You know, that dagger worked like a charm. No more cross clones to worry about. And that we know of. Shame we almost lost you in the process. Fasir gambled with your life. The serum you used to kill Cross could have been the death of you, too. But he was able to reverse the process once Lily brought you in. And lucky for him. Lily was about to blow his precious brains out there and then. When you come to, there's gonna be plenty of work for the Violent Ranger yet. But for now, you just rest your bones. Walker, don't try to talk. I'll be here for you. When you're ready, we got plenty of work to do, Ranger. <laughs> <laughs> 